Every day for the past week, a majority of American voters have awakened to a difficult reality. Not only did that man who lost the popular vote win the election, but his election sparked a rise in hate crimes, threats of violence. <coughs> Since election day, the Southern Poverty Law Center has reported hundreds of incidents of harassment and intimidation. Last count, 315. If Trump is serious about seeking unity, the first thing he should do is rescind his appointment to Steve Bannon. Rescind him. Don't do it. Think about this. Don't do it. As long as a champion of racial division is a step away from the Oval Office, it will be impossible to take Trump's efforts to heal the nation seriously. I call upon my Republican uh, colleagues to recognize uh, that this uh, appointment is uh, a, not only uh, offensive throughout America and further deepening the divides and the, and the damage, but is really an unwise approach for the president a, as well. And I urge them to join us in calling uh, for this uh, uh, appointment to be withdrawn. And specifically, Donald Trump's appointment of Steve Bannon is the absolute wrong message to send to Americans today. This is someone who has expressed racist, sexist, anti-Semitic, anti-LGBT sentiments, and, and on and on and on. This is someone whose views do not belong in the White House. We cannot allow Mr. Bannon's statements and beliefs to become the norm in this country. I join my colleagues here and others to call on the President to withdraw his job offer to Steve Bannon.